Hey guys, how's it going? Pop Dex Gaming here. Ah, I just bit my fucking lip, that hurt. Yep, someone's just come online. Anyway, so in this video, I'm going to be playing some more Elite Dangerous 2.2 the update. Um, did I just say in this video again? I think I've done the exact same as my last live stream. Okay, so if you're watching this on my YouTube, then hi. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button and give me a subscribe. If you're watching this live now, then hi. Um, yeah. So I'm not entirely sure what... Oh yeah, I did land here, didn't I? And now it's fucking dark. Brilliant. Okay, I think I'm going to go somewhere else. Okay, just bear with me. Before I start, I do want to just take off my notifications for my Xbox because it's a pain in the ass fucking seeing all these people coming online. And I should have turned them off before. Okay, I deal, we're done. Let's do this. So yeah, um, was landed on this planet, which is the furthest one out from our solar system they've added in recently. It's called Perisphone. Peris, Perisphone? I don't know how to say that, so don't fucking judge me. <laughs> so, I was landed here, but it's now gone dark, and earlier it wasn't, which has fucking annoyed me a little bit. So, and I'm trying to find geysers. Um, they're really difficult, apparently. They're really rare, and in my last live stream, I couldn't find anyone for you guys, and it was fucking annoying. Who was watching, hello. Um, yeah, and I realised... Geysers are actually really difficult to find. They're quite rare. It's a bit like the alien archaeology they've added. It's quite difficult to find. So, I'm just going to do a bit of exploring, and especially on this planet, because it's the furthest one out from our system, and I'm dipping slowly. This planet's got a quite a strong pull on me. I went in earlier and I nearly fucking crashed. It was horrible. So yeah, let's check out this planet. Okay, so the one I'm at is at the very end here. This took me fucking ages to get to. It was such a piss take. It, I don't know, it took me like, I think it was around 20 minutes or so just to get to this one planet. Oh, it was bloody annoying, but because it, it's so far out, I just took ages. Um, so yeah, let's check this planet out a little bit. Um, I'm going to call it a planet because it's quite big. Yeah, it is. It's, it's pretty fucking big. Shit, it is actually quite big. I didn't realise compared to Saturn and Jupiter, it's um, not a bad size. It's about the same as um, Neptune or Uranus. Uh, yeah, so some people said you should look near the bottom of mountains to try and find geysers or maybe where geysers would be, maybe watery regions of the planet. So where I had landed, I'm not going to find any, I don't think. So, I'm going to fly up, and uh, there's quite a lot of cracks on this planet, so I think I might try to go to one of them. But as these are so rare, I'm not expecting to find them, so if you're pretty much on my stream to find them, I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna be able to, I don't think. But I like exploring, so that is my aim in this live stream. Why am I not being at the kind of gear? Here we go. And apparently they aren't points of interest. In my last live stream I was looking at points of interest and they are not under POIs. So yeah, I kinda look like a bit of a fucking idiot. Oh, there's another ship. Let's check him out. Always oh, an orca, wow. I do really want to save up for a better ship, a big a larger one, because I can take um, lounges now and uh, I'll be able to take people on long trips across the universe and if I do I get like 15 million pound it's ridiculous but I just can't do it because my ship's only medium sized it's a lot of money this ship but it just isn't enough to take passengers um, yeah so it's a bit annoying I think I'm gonna have to go a lot higher here see there's a point of interest there in blue but apparently they aren't under point of interest I read online but don't take my word for it they might be under them, I'm not sure. Okay, let's try and go. I am gonna go into uh, 
frameshift drive. I've just pressed Y again, haven't I? Oh, there we go. Whew, Jesus. I didn't want to press Y because I would have cancelled out. <clears throat> right. Um, I'm going to have to go on the lighter side to see the... Okay, there was a bit over here, actually. I can see a slight tint. Yeah. So I'm just kind of guessing, but I think if I went towards the bluer regions of the planets, they would have geysers. That's what I'm guessing. At this moment in time, geysers are really rare, so anyone could come across them. So there is there is no specific spot, which is a bit annoying. But I will find some, I'm determined to. It's darker on this side of the planet, it's fucking annoying me. I'm a bit annoyed though why they didn't add geysers as more of a a common thing to see because they're they're actually really rare and it's fucking annoying. I thought they were gonna be everywhere. But geysers are so rare. Which is annoying. But Oh shit, and he went in the red. Oh shit. There seems to be so much so many more like computers playing in this game now. They've added so many. Like, look how many are over there. A couple over there, two there. Because I'm in a private lobby, so they're all computers, but... This is just ridiculous. Okay. I can see a slight tint in some of these areas. Oh, fucking hell, screens. So, and there was one that I just went past. Okay, I'm just going to have to go higher here. There's another one right there in front of me. That's cool. Oh, two people. Wow. Soul is really quite a popular system though, so I'm not surprised. Okay, there's a blue section down there, but I don't want to drop below that. Okay, I could actually, because I'll just go down myself. Yeah, I'll just drop out of it. I should be in a glide now. No, I'm not in a glide. Okay, okay I am really high up. Okay. Yeah, I'm at 49 kilometers. Jesus Christ. Doesn't look that high. And this planet, I don't want to shoot down because I'll just go fucking face planting into it. Okay. Um, What I will do. Yeah, I will find the lighter side because then I know what I'm doing. I'm going to escape that dark. Oh, overheating. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm going to have to disengage. It was overheating, which is so annoying. Have to speed up here and get going. Here we go. I honestly thought I was going to be able to land there, but I was 49 kilometers above the surface. That's just fucking ridiculous. Okay, don't want to drop in the red. Be careful. I need to go higher because I want to get in its um I want to get in the orbit really. <sighs> Should be able to get in at any minute. There we go. That's what I want to get in because you can just shoot around this planet really fast now. I'm speeding up. I wish these screens wouldn't pop up. I want to look outside. <laughs> so frustrating. Jesus, I'm not going as fast as I thought I would be. At this height as well, you on any other planet you get the blue section where you can go faster but this planet seems to be really close to me it's just so massive I'm not getting much speed at the minute and hopefully I'm going to the light side I don't know it looks quite dark over there and um, I don't know where the Sun is it's so tiny but 
Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna go towards this way. Because this seems light over here. And everyone seems to be going that way, so I'm guessing that way is where the center of our system is. I don't know, let me check. Oh yeah, soul is over there, okay. I'll go this way. Should have a little bit more light over here now. <clears throat> they've added so many more options down here. Now they've got the fighter's option, but I can't take a fighter. I have one crew, and I don't know why I bought him. Because he's inactive. I can't do anything with him. Because... I do have a seat under me, you can't see it, but for some reason I can't take him. I think I need a bigger, yeah, bigger ship. I paid 150 grand for him, he fucking is useless to me, I don't know why I bought him. But I got an achievement for it, so I'll take that. See, before I specifically landed on this planet to go to the blue section, but where I'm going now, I don't think there's any blue, like, caves that I saw. Anyway, I'll just keep heading this way and um, hopefully come across what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's what I landed on before I took off a minute ago is these weird little green spots. I didn't know what they were, but they just seemed like higher parts of the planet. That's all they really were, there was no geysers or anything. So I'm just trying to head towards um, these darker, bluer sections. There's a bit of blue there. I'm going to head this way. Seems like there's a couple of streaks over here. I'm just assuming these are going to be geysers, but I doubt it very much. It's so bizarre, I've never come across a planet with so many green spots on. Like any spots, to be honest. Such a weird feature. and they aren't anything but mountains. So weird. Okay, there's some blue strikes here now. Keep going this way, I think. Oh my god, it's never taken me so long to go over a planet before. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I'll charge my scanner and see if I can find anything. Nah, didn't think there'd be anything out here. I've pretty much explored everything in the solar system. Okay, um, I'm not sure... Oh, it's quite blue over here. Let's go to this spot. I'm going to head for that little uh, crater just there, I think. I can't really point to it because if I go below the blue bit I'm just going to drop down again and it's bloody annoying. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm not going to keep carrying on because it's just going to get a bit annoying just going around this fucking planet doing nothing so I think I'm gonna drop down um, I don't know when to uh, yeah I think I'll just do it now Hopefully this isn't going to drop me in and I'm fucked. 
because if it just drops me and I have to get down myself, I want it to go into a glide, hopefully. Sometimes it does that and it's so annoying. Woo! There was something down there, wasn't there? Ah, it was another ship. Okay, here we go. Hopefully it will put me in a cruise. Yeah, it does. Ideal. This is a fucking giant planet. I don't think I... This is one of the... I'm now thinking about it. This being the size of, like, Uranus, and that sounds weird, and Neptune, it's a pretty big fucking planet to land on. I think it's actually one of the biggest I've ever landed on. Because you don't get many, they're normally really tiny. Like this. Now I think about it, it's fucking giant. It's ginormous. Just drop down, hopefully. This is quite blue. I'm liking the colours. It's always quite frightening. You think you're going to just dive bomb into it, but you, you never do. Okay. Oh, shit. I don't really want to boost because this planet has got a really strong gravity. And you just go flying into it. So I'm going to slow down, actually, and take it carefully. It's really bizarre when you do start to land, you put, put everything into perspective how fucking big these planets are. And although you can explore every single inch of each planet, it's fuck. Okay, see, it's pulling me down now and I can't do much. I'm going to have to thrust up and hopefully come to a stop. Okay, I'm hopefully stopped. Yeah, I am, okay. So now I don't want to go down too... Normally I would just fly down, but... See, look, I'm not even doing anything that's pulling me down. Yeah, I'm fucked. Yeah, I can't pull up. I can't pull up. I can't pull up. That is pretty much a good example of how much pull this planet has got. And I didn't even put my feet down. That is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, it's doing it again. Oh, oh i got to really be careful. Oh, thank fuck it's deployed. Oh, 86 integrity, that's alright. Okay, I need to find a spot here. It was so fucking difficult to land earlier on this planet. Oh, there seems to be something over there. I don't think that's just a rock. But I will go check it out. Let me just turn my ship. I'm more interested in these bluey sections because they are ice. So that's the reason why I kind of wanted to check them out. Okay, I'm going to have to find a spot here. This is taking a piss. There we go. Ooh. Okay, let me go forward a little bit. There we go. Shit. Whoa, fucking tits. Alignment, okay, right. Can I please just land? Oh, it's not gonna land me. See, it always says it's. Oh, it's dodgy in there. It? It's, it's not gonna take me. It's not gonna take me. Please just take me. <laughs> right, let's try that. Oh, fucking Jesus. You've gotta be so careful. See, I have perfect alignment now, but it will not fucking land me. And I'm fine. Obviously, there's a rock or something that's not making this perfect. Okay, it's really difficult. I'm going to have to find another spot. Okay, here is apparently good. Oh, finally. Jesus Christ. I have to repair my ship at some point. <laughs> right. Let's deploy my motherfucking rover. First time on this planet. And it's boring, nothing here. I just really want to find geysers. Yeah, high gravity, that's the reason why it was pulling me down. Because look, when I get further away and I can allow my thrusters, watch what happens. It pulls me right down, look at that. Fucking Jesus. Oh, it's pulling me down. Probably the best thing to do is not jump too much on this planet. What was I doing again? I was going to investigate these weird rocks, but I think they were just rocks. Yeah, they were. They were over this direction. Oh, Jesus 
fucking Christ. See, I, I don't know what I'm really looking for here. This is the icier part of this planet, but still no geysers. See, it would have been so awesome if they just added loads, but they just didn't seem to do that. Right, let's just go towards some readings and uh, see what we can come across. Oh, fucking hell. Pulls me down so much. Something over there, but that's just a rock, I think. Just a darker one. Yeah, it's just a darker one. I'm picking up a lot of readings, but I think they're just going to be fucking minerals. Ah, uh, probably will be. Jesus Christ, hang on a minute. Just close my stream down on my fucking YouTube. Right, okay. <clears throat> yeah. It's time to load that back up. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Sliding about. I think the best thing to do for me is to find some coordinates that people have actually found geysers before and have a look. I did do it yesterday and I went to a place where there was apparently geysers but I found nothing. There was nothing there and I went to the right coordinates and it just didn't show anything which pissed me off a little bit because it took me ages to get there and nothing was found. There isn't much on geysers at the minute. No one's actually found many of them so there's so many planets now with volcanism, and I just need to find one. I need to find some geysers on these fucking planets. My whole live stream yesterday as well was me looking on a planet with no volcanism. I was such a retard. But I've actually figured out you need a planet with volcanism to find geysers, so... Thankfully, the internet helped me. I'm just going to go towards this way, it's quite a strong reading. It's going to be fucking mineral though. I'm not sure if even guys just pick up on the scanner, but worth a go. Jesus Christ, this is quite a long scan. Ah, it's just a fucking rock. I can see it already. That's disappointing. Oh, Jesus, that was unexpected. Fucking hell, came out like Don Cena. Oh shit, sliding over the shop. Oh, fucking tit, I do that so much. Oh. Accidentally clicked on the system map. Brilliant. Wow, they just dropped down straight away. Cargo. Okay. Cargo. Uh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> no traction at all on this fucking planet. It's so icy. Get in my fucking cargo bay. And you. Last piece. There we go. And I've hit the rock. So it doesn't seem like I'm going to find any in this location. It was pretty fucking waste of time. And people say you should look at like lower parts of the mountain and stuff like that, but I think that's bullshit. You're just you're going to find them if you find them. They're just going to be somewhere. Like I don't think they're in specific spots. Ah oh, fucking Jesus Christ. 
can see a rock right there. Oh, that's a good bit of drifting. That's an outcrop, isn't it? Oh, no, it's bonsai. Okay. Oh, I don't really need to pick up all of these because I have quite a lot of resources already. I just want to check what I've actually got. Inventory, minerals, materials, yeah. I have loads. Jesus, what have I got 100 of? Oh, just... Where's it gone? Holy shit, 103 of iron. Ah, oh, that's really easy to come across, though. Okay, I can hold a 1,000. I didn't realise there was a capacity for how many materials you could have. Jesus, I better start using them. Display clock. What's that? <laughs> Hide location from profile, self-destruct. Don't think I'll press that one anytime soon. Yeah, no, all the other shit. Faction, you can't do it on a lowered. Um, so, synops... Sym sympathith. <laughs> Let's do a repair, because I think I've only got 65 integrity. So. Oh, thank you. Can't do any of the premium stuff. 100% whole strength, wow. I don't need to refuel, I think I'm all good. Let me check my fuel. Oh, I'm 44. Okay. I think I may refuel. Ah, uh, I'm alright for a minute. Yeah. Right, let's carry on. I'm not going to collect those other bits, because I don't fucking need them. I don't need that shit. I don't need that shit. Oh, another one. Spotted you in the corner of my eye. And it's another bronze eye. Oh, I don't want that. The materials are so boring. I've got too many already. <clears throat> I'm going to go towards the outer one there. Because... Oh no, I'm just picking up my ship, aren't I? Oh no, no I'm not. No, I'm picking up something else. Some bright things. Oh, there it is over there, I see it. But I'm not going to get that. What's that rolling over? Something is here. Ah, oh, it's a canister. Right. <clears throat> what was in it? Cargo acquired. I don't even know what the fuck I picked up. Superconductor, £6,000. Oh, these are going to be rolling about over the shop, aren't they? They seem to be rolling away. Just picking up some over here. That's a lot of rocks. Don't want to hit any of these. Oh, fucking Jesus, as I said it. It's kind of annoying because the trailer of this update kind of, like, depicted there was going to be loads of fucking... Geysers. There were so many in the trailer, you can see them pretty much everywhere, and no one has found any since the release. It's fucking shit. Only a certain amount of people have found any. I'm going to stay in the soul system though for quite a while, because apparently there is so many here, but I just can't seem to find any. This is just going to be a rock, isn't it? I might have to look on the uh, Elite Dangerous forums later and see if anyone's found any hints to find them. Another one, Bronzite. Oh shit, slow down! Oh, my Just need to do something on my laptop, hang on.
Sorry, just bear with me. Just... There we go, right. Right, no deal. I wasn't going to collect these, but while I'm here, I might as well. Okay, there we go. I'm not going to find any in this location, so... But it was good to explore this planet a little bit. Wow, I'm surprised I turned them pretty good and avoided all those rocks. I don't know how the fuck I done that, but fucking Jesus, you drop so quick. Ugh. Don't hit any, don't hit any. Skip over them. <laughs> Skip over these. Go down, jump, 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 jump. And one big jump, hopefully. Oh wow, the ship's further away than I thought. Okay. This isn't my ship. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, what a twat. Who the fuck? Is it is it unmanned? I'm gonna nick your ship. I can't do that. I can't nick it. Okay, it seems to be a naval ship. Okay, I'm not going to fuck with that. Um... It does seem to be the exact, pretty much near enough the same as mine. It looks like the, because mine's the AVP Explorer or something like that, or ASP Explorer. His is the next one up because it's the same shape by the looks of it. But it's, he's not even touching the ground. Wow. Okay. Is he deployed? Is he out on his... <laughs> what did I do? Oh, I touched his shield. I'm not supposed to fuck with him. Looks like he's got like a cool little fucking drop bit at the back. He's a naval ship though, so I'm not gonna fuck with him. Because he'll get all his friends after me. If he was an actual person, not a computer, if I was online, that would be awesome. It'd be so cool to hang out with someone finally on the rovers. Anyway. I'm going to call for my ship, because that's not mine. <laughs> Hopefully my ship won't land on his. I'm not going to attack that either. It's so tempting, but I'm not going to be able to. It doesn't say if it's unmanned or not. Hmm, odd. Very odd. Where's my fucking ship do? Hmm. Okay, it's over here. I didn't realise. No, it's not over here, it's flying. Come on, where are you going? Where are you going? Where the fuck's my ship? It says it's over here. Where's he going? <laughs> oh, it's over here, for fuck's sake. Oh, Jesus. I think the next time I'm going to live stream is probably when I find guys. I think I'm going to have a little look about... Oh, Jesus Christ, that was a big rock. I'm going to probably have a look about at some point soon and then live stream when I find some instead of just exploring and trying to find them because it's a bit boring. So I think I'm going to do that before I explore any more of this planet and that. Try and find some correct coordinates where they're going to be. But yeah. Anyway. So I'm not going to explore this anymore. I will probably end the stream here. Uh, transfer my cargo because I collected some superconductors. Confirm that shit. 
Because there's no point in me looking about if I don't know where I'm looking. And board my ship. But yeah, I will try and find some soon and live stream it. But if you're watching this YouTube video and you're wondering when I'm going to live stream, then just check my bio and I'll put it there somewhere. I'm pretty sure. I'll type it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, peace.